Everyone's excited? All right, guys, welcome to the Advanced Program 2013. Uh, we've worked, <laughs> thanks, Charles. We've worked hard for this. Um, we're real excited for you guys. Um, how are you? Uh, I just want to quickly introduce myself a little bit, introduce the program, kind of give you a little bit of expectations to set, but we're going to know each other very well in, over the next seven 14 weeks. Okay. My name is Paul Pena Carl. I founded uh, the program quite a few years ago. Um, I had a couple years experience at Chase and Morgan doing fixed station trading, then went on to Morgan Stanley where I worked in M&A for about five years, did a lot of energy transactions, a lot of very large transactions, worked on the acquisition of ARCO by British Petroleum. What's your name? Uh, Johnson. Oh, here. And then moved on to a fund called TH Lee, which is a $20 billion fund at the time, one of the top four funds in the state. Um, I actually, it was actually a, a carve out of TH Lee called TH Lee Putnam Ventures. It was a billion dollar fund that was run by Harvey Golub, who was the ex CEO of American Express. Um, and with all that knowledge, how to get into these funds, I started to put together and say, well, let me turn this into a course to teach people how to get into investment banking. And it's really good. So, the point is to get good jobs. Everybody's here to get a good job. And rest assured, we have um, helped almost 500 students get good jobs throughout the years. So the goal is, over the next few minutes, I want to give you some tips as to how to use this program as a tool to help you guys achieve that thing. We've helped, I don't know the exact number, almost 500 people. You guys are looking for one, right? So trust us in giving you the right tools and the skills and the position. And it works. And it works for a very specific reason that we believe. Why the program works? There's a formula that we feel like. When we employ it to each of you guys, we can use it to hear the skills, right? First, the training. And obviously the advanced technical training. We have a book that's going to be published in July, very excited about. We will use this. Um, but it's not only the training and the technical skills and the modeling, it's employing that training to work on deals. And the reason why the program works is because I've told everybody that's individual on the phone, we've built relationships with these firms. You're going to meet the firms in a second. We've, I've called up the managing directors and the founders and said, I have people that will be trained. It's the same training that we do at the Bulls Bank X. These guys will be trained and ready to work for you on your deal. But, you have to make sure that they're working on deals, right? And that's how it works. And that's why I mentioned to you guys, you know, if anybody has gotten a job at a bullish bracket bank, take that job, right? Because that's going to be the best thing you're going to have. But even guys that have jobs at bullish bracket banks are not going to be working on the deals like they're going to be working on the deals at these firms. They're not going to be building models. They're not going to be building full-scale models, right? They're not going to be sitting on, well, they'll be sitting on call compliance, but not in the same way because at the bulls bracket banks, there's so many layers. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm supposed to do individually, obviously the name of the bulls bracket bank is great. So if you were get, to get mentorship at the bulls bracket bank, you'd say, take it. But if you're not at a bulls bracket bank, if you're at a boutique firm, you want to make sure you're working on deals. You want to make sure you have a resume with deals on your resume and to impress upon people that you actually know how to put together a model. And I'll give you one anecdote that was gave us a lot of confidence. Um, there's a, a, another book, this is financial, you know, financial modeling evaluation that, that we wrote. There's a book called Invest in Banking, very complimentary to this. I think both of those books are, are great books for any analyst to have. It was written by Josh Rosenbaum. I wrote Josh Rosenbaum an email last summer to ask him to come down and tell him about the program. And admittedly, he, he never heard about the program. So he came down and I showed him the program. I showed him some resumes of guys from the, the prior program that just finished. And he was very impressed. And he said, you know, this is why, you know, his exact words were, I was, I am head of Harvard recruiting at UBS and I do not do resumes like this. So if I saw more resumes like this, it would be a good thing. Literally. Because people at Bulls Bracket Banks, when you have the Bulls Bracket Bank game and you're an intern, it's understood you're shadowing an analyst. The way we've set up this program is you are working as the analyst. You're reporting to an associate. And recruiters just don't see resumes with that much technical detail. And it becomes very impressive. So when you guys go back to campus, 
you're going to realize you're only competing against a select few people now. You're going to be competing against the other guys that have gotten the balls back at that game from this. And it's just you and those guys, which is a very select number of people. That's what this program is about. So in the next few slides, I'm going to give you some things that you should do that we've learned over time, some things that maybe you shouldn't do to kind of help make this a good experience for you for the summer. So advanced technical training, working on the deals, obviously giving you guys interview confidence and interview preparation to really impress upon the recruiter, this is the stuff that you know. You are a skilled analyst, right? That's the problem. Much more local parent. Okay, for a successful summer, okay? things that you should do. Come to class. It sounds silly, you're here right now, but sometimes we see people that think they kind of got it, they'll stop coming to class. You guys are full-time interns, so it's going to be tough to juggle them both. If you let that slip, though, the, the learning curve is going to drop. So you want to be careful. You have to come to class. You guys are going to be graded. You guys are going to be ranked. We're going to check, check attendance. It's only for you, internal. But the point is, if somebody comes back and maybe they're not getting jobs, you know, we want to keep our placement rate very high. And if somebody comes back and says, well, I wasn't getting jobs, we want to know exactly why. We want to put back, well, you didn't come to class, you stopped coming here, you didn't do good. So we want to make sure we're tracking every candidate. You're investing a lot in this. We're investing a lot in this, too. So make sure you come to class. Make sure you do the homework. I'm going to walk through in the next few slides what a typical week is going to be like. We're going to help you manage your time. You know, it's for you, so if you want to say, you know what, I don't care, I just want the interest of the then fine. But, you know, we want to make sure that we're tracking the progress of everybody. Yeah, we're, we're very diligent about this. Finish the homeworks. We designed the homeworks specifically to make sure that you're ramping up, you know, progressively. You know, every, not every class is going to be, you know, as fruitful as the first class. Those are going to be very valuable lectures. There's going to be some that's kind of boring, but there's going to, they're going to contain some good anecdotes. So you really have to attend all of them to understand the progress. Now, modeling is something that needs to be exercised, and we know that. So there's going to be new stuff, and there's going to be stuff that's quite repetitive. But it's, it's that exercise that we know is going to really make sure that you know the stuff in the back of your hand, which is important for interviews. So we'll, we'll, we'll track that. Tests. You guys will be tested. You will. Um, not many, but it's going to help us track your progress. And it's not like, oh, you didn't do well on your test, then that's it. It's, okay, well, you need help here. Let me give you guys some extra help and extra time. But that's what the point is. Um, work smart. You'll learn. It doesn't take the smartest person to be good at it. You need to be diligent. You need to study, you know. So time management is something we're going to talk about. We're going to teach. It's all about that. Yeah? And, of course, Use your team. I didn't mean to say just me, but including me. Don't be afraid to knock on my door. Don't be afraid to come on me. I want to get to know each of you guys individually. That's what the program's about. I get calls all the time. I got a call from um, somebody that was interviewing final rounds at JP Morgan Restructuring. He had a model test. He had me take a look at it. This was a year after he finished the program. You know, he, he had a, he got a job at a booking firm, and this is, I keep relationships with everybody. I want to make sure you guys are doing well. So stay in touch with us. We're a resource. You know, that's what you're here for. And of course, get the reviews. Right? You're going to be reviewed by the firms. Attend all this stuff is going to go into their understanding of your reviews. It's going to be helpful for recruiters if they ask for reviews. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So you've got to work hard, you know? Um, it's not a competition, right? This is for you. Right? This is for you. This is to give you confidence to get out there to show your skills. Okay. Um, things you shouldn't do. Try and turn this into a positive. Things that we've seen that, you know, kind of maybe doesn't work so well. That was meant to be a joke. I mean, obviously, you can sleep. Everyone thinks it's back in all these hours, you know, a little ridiculous. You know, I'm never going to sleep. You're going to work a lot. Today's going to be a long day. You should be excited about it. You should be more excited than me. I don't know why I'm going to this sounds silly. Keep a good attitude is what I'm trying to say. Often we'll get somebody, you know, when you're working at Morgan Stanley and making $100,000, it's fun to complain, right? This investment banking work isn't the most exciting work. But we hear a lot of people that complain, but the other people on the team that's like, oh, there's this guy that's complaining, 
and you know he's bringing down the morale of the team, and you don't want him on the team anymore, and that's tough for us to work out. So despite the ups and downs, keep a positive attitude. This is separate from reviews of the program. The program has gotten to what it has today because of your feedback. I want feedback of what's working and what's not working. So I want to make this the perfect program for everybody. That's separate. This is more just keeping a positive attitude, keeping morale. It's easy to complain about your associate, about your managing director. Everybody does. But when you're in a program like this, it kind of brings down morale. So just keep that in mind. You know, this is not really for us. It's for everyone else in the team. You know, it goes into teamwork and evaluation of teamwork. Keep a positive attitude. Don't worry. Yeah. It's, you know, not the hardest work in the world. You know, it's going to be a lot of work. Just study. You will do fine. Everybody, I, I talked to Jonathan. There, we've gotten a lot of calls about background checks. and people have been getting jobs. They'll call and they say, oh, do work here? Working? And we've gotten more than we had before, which is great. And quite admittedly, people that we thought, maybe they weren't doing a small program, are still getting called analysts at Gold's Regular Banks. Because, again, going back to the formula, you can have an internship at a top firm. You're not going to be working on deals like this. You're not going to be building models. So when they see that, the recruiters get so impressed by that. So, so don't worry if you feel like you're slacking off. Always, week two, week three, will feel completely lost. You're going to feel completely lost. There's a lot of stuff thrown at you. You will get it at one point. Uh, Corny, I don't know where this came from. I just threw this in there last minute. If you can read right now, you can do that. It just the point is, it doesn't take a lot, right? Modeling is not more than adding cells together. So we will drill that into you, yeah? Things you will get, yeah? Um, this is what you're here for, right? This is what the program's about. Um, very strong technical founding, of course. And really, that's the first thing, right? That's what the book's about, right? Building models, technical interview, really interview confidence. A lot of things is about confidence, right? But the confidence is built up when you have the foundation and when you know that you've done this and you know nobody else has done this before except feedback. There's a script you back. Valuable advice, invaluable advice, right? Me, John, all the guys you're going to meet about the program are going to be mentors. So here's the example of the person that told me about the model set. This is a year after the program. So we want to guide you. May help you transition to your the next step in your career. Yeah, that's important. This is one that you may not think about, but everybody around you, you will be good friends. I mean, I had guys, you know, one guy from uh, Hong Kong, and then there was another guy that was from the state who went to Cornell. The the second guy got a job as an analyst at HSBC, and they were working for somebody else. And his friend that was roommates together got no time. He had he sent his resume and they got jobs together. Um, people are rooming together and living together afterwards. You know, all these people coming together. You know, uh, uh, there's there's two guys. Can somebody mute their microphone because there's some feedback? Um, you guys will will become friends. Okay? Which leads me to my next point. You know, a little bit a little bit corny, but you know, have fun. You know, this 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 is this is a great city. For most of you, how many guys are from Manhattan? How many are not from Manhattan? Like almost everybody is, is not from the city. If you're working on a Friday night till 10 o'clock, force yourself to go out, understand, get to understand local neighborhoods, get to understand the subway system, get to understand the surroundings. You might have to end up spending your life here. But even if you don't, it's a great thing to know. Have a fun summer. You know? So in the next few slides, I just want to talk a little bit about more expectations and how to um, think about the first few weeks and how to kind of stuff your time. Then I want to take a little bit of a pause. I want to invite in some of the firms, some representatives from the firms, talk about what you're going to be doing. And then from 11 to 1, you're just going to get in and start training. Yeah. So the way to think about the first few weeks is, oh, can she not hear? Watch it. <clears throat> Today, Income statements. Yeah. There's there's six major can I can I pull one of these things up? I'm gonna do one quick thing and stop the video. <clears throat> 